Well, hello, friends. I'm here with my um, junk journal flip through for my 400 subscriber giveaway. So this is my first junk journal. So hopefully it's not too bad. It is a Valentine's Day journal. <laughs> well, hey, better late than never, right? So this is um, a cute little <clears throat> tie that I had here. And it's just some cute lace. So this is what's keeping the junk journal closed. So I kind of like just doubled, doubled the ribbon. And then, so let's just get right into the good stuff. Okay, so I am not at all any kind of expert. This was all just my doing my, on my own. <laughs> and <clears throat> we'll go through it. These are little X and O's, like little uh, wooden things I got from the dollar store. Some of the stickers are as well. This here is a vintage card, vintage postcard or greeting card. Um, and this is all made with two of those uh, manila folders. The ones, you know, the file folders. So, all right, so let's go. We go right in here and we have ourselves our first card. It's kind of just white and I'm using some Tim Holtz, um, I think it's oxide they call it. So it's just a cute little um, card. And it had some writing here, so I just covered that up with a sticker. And then you open it up here. Now on the inside there, there is some uh, card stock. And I used the distressing ink here all the way around. Now this one you can't see too well, but on the back behind the doggy is a design that I made myself. And then I just photocopied it. Kind of like this one over here on this side. So I did with this with little ripped up pieces of paper and a sticker and I made a little pocket. And this is the front of another vintage card. And then um, I just added another piece of manila folder to the back and distressed it. And so you have some writing space here. Tuck that right in there. And then come over here to this one and you could write or draw or put a paper on there. And then on the inside of that, we have um, some paper here, very pretty paper. And I have to fix that before I give it away, but very nice on the back. And it has a little lace tag holder. I just have to reattach it. And so I'll bring that back over here. So there's some more... Um, area to write and then there's on the inside again there's some more cardstock so, and then we just put these back in here and then put that back in the front pocket okay so you got two little tuck spaces and then i didn't quite know what i wanted to do with this front area so i had gotten some friend mail from someone in a junk journaling group on Facebook and she had given this beautiful envelope with the um, wax seal. And I actually also got another one from Katie from Vintage and Vinyl, which is blue. So this I think worked for Valentine's Day. So I'm hoping I can incorporate her envelope somehow because it was really cool. So there's nice in the background here and some lace. This uh, border here came from uh, Vintageous uh, Joni, sorry. <laughs> so I thought this was perfect to add around here. And then I just open it up and then there's a little surprise on the inside. And this is a circle shaped piece of paper. So that was really nice. And there's another little surprise up here. More of this beautiful paper. And another way place to write. 
And if you see that little piece sticking out up there, well, why don't we'll go up and find out what that is. So then you turn to the side here and look, it's not too big, not too small, but that's why we have the ribbon around it. So let's start from the beginning. So we have the Valentine greeting, which was a vintage postcard. And this beautiful one that I loved and I didn't want to really mess it up. So I just kind of left it like this and a Valentine to my teacher. And then it has this beautiful uh, heart and books on the other side. So I thought we'll just leave that the way it is. It was so pretty. So I just cut it out, cut all the, the heart right out of there. And then you can see the background here, some beautiful paper and a little distressing all around. And then this is a nice big tag hanging out up here. It'll come out. <laughs> and this was also um, right here. This was a vintage card from Germany that I got from Misty at uh, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. And so I just decorated those. Very beautiful. And that just tucks right up in here. I use... Oh, in there the right direction I used this beautiful um, stamp over here and then this was part of another vintage card that I just loved the heart so I cut it out and that you can move this in and out here this was a beautiful tag that someone made for me and I thought it went perfect in here then we have a few blank pieces of paper this is what's called coffee dyed paper and I coffee dyed it myself, and then when it was drying, it was drying on corrugated cardboard, so it made this pretty cool um, ribbed effect there. Now, this is probably one of the best things I love about this. This was another vintage card for Valentine's Day, and you just open it up, <laughs> and it's a giraffe, and I think that's so awesome. Okay. I just got to remember to put it back the right way. And this is a beautiful kind of um, paper with gold flake. Well, I don't know if they're real gold flakes, but in the background that I got at a local art store. Then some more blank pages. Here's another one that is a very beautiful raised um, silver. I don't know if you can see that. And then on the inside, I used some more uh, paper to make like little lines and then distressed it. So lots of places to write in this journal. This here was another vintage card, which I thought was so cute with a little boy and girl. And then, but I loved these cute two little bears giving each other a little kiss. So I thought that would be perfect in there. And then some writing space on the back. And so we'll put those cute little guys back in there. Okay, some more beautiful blue paper from the art store I was at and this one actually this container here or folder whatever you want to call it was actually a sticker book one of those ones that you just get and I did put the paper on and the paper on the inside so you have a little bit of a notebook and you just close it up here and you have a nice little area for a little secret <laughs> area to write. Here's another vintage card that I just cut out and another beautiful um, tag that someone made for me. I just thought it would be really good for, for Valentine's Day. Here's another vintage card that I made. I put a couple extra little um, embellishments here uh, to cover up the words and then this was another beautiful tag that I made and this was actually, this rose actually came from the thank you card that Joni sent me when she sent me one of her orders, or my orders. And then this also came from Joni. So, and it was the crafting mystery box. It was awesome. Okay, so some more just plain paper. This one I thought was very cute. It is a front of a... Um, Valentine's Day card and then this I didn't really do anything except put a little bit of manila folder on the back and distressed it and this is the to my Valentine's peas pea, peas be my partner <laughs> oh my goodness 
But isn't that cute? And then that just sticks right, tucks right back in there. And then we have this cute little thing. This was a card and the way it was set up, I was able to glue and make a couple different things. I made a little tuck spot back here, something to write on. And it has this cute little tag, which was also the front of a car or part of a card that you'll see in a minute. And just some writing space on the back with a little bit of the lace. So that just tucks right in there. And then you have some writing space. And then there's another tuck space that, um, and this was another tag that somebody was nice enough to make me. And then that just sticks right in there. And then this is the front of the um, card with just some little embellishments to cover up the wording. So, more coffee dyed paper here. And then another blue piece that we had a Valentine's and it said something else. So I covered it up, a Valentine's for yours truly, kisses, and the cute little lady. And we have the X and O, another tag that someone was nice enough to make me. And I thought they went perfect in the Valentine's. Um, junk journal and then some more coffee dyed paper here and then this I thought was super cute it was two parts of a card and I didn't want to separate them so we have the two gentlemen dogs there looking and then you just flip the piece of paper and you see what they're looking at the cute girl dog <laughs> which was also the cute girl dog from one of the other cards early on a little bit so now we have some more coffee dyed paper. We have a little tuck spot here. This came from one of the cards with love. This was actually a poem um, that was the inside of one of the cards and it talks about I love you. Now what I'll do is I'll put it there if you want to um, pause the video and read it. Okay, and then can't really see it up here, but this was a little piece of paper that I had gotten from one of the um, ephemera things I got a little while ago, and it worked perfectly. So this is another card, Fond Thoughts for Valentine's Day, and then I made a um, tuck spot up here, and this is actually a sticker and I think I got this from Stephanie from Thrifting Adventures, but it was perfect. And then I just put put it with some manila folder and then um, someone had gifted me uh, some of this beautiful ribbon. Um, well, you crochet with it. I can't think of what it is, <laughs> but there we go. And then more of that beautiful red paper. This one was with love on Valentine's Day and there was some wording and things. So I had these stickers of locks and keys. And then I distressed the inside. And then this here was a part of another vintage card. And then I put a lock there. And some more coffee dyed paper. Now that little tag that we saw early on went with this card here. And I'll take this out for a minute and I'll show you. And then this was a tuck spot, but there was this card that had the inside went with this card. So it worked out nice. I could use mostly all the parts of that particular card. So that worked out nicely. And I had, oh wait, no, nope, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. They look so much alike and so pretty. It wasn't this card. It was the one coming up. Then I just thought this was perfect. I got this from Cindy um, from Mimi's Treasure Cottage. And I'm um, that she is an artist also. And this beautiful little girl holding. Um, I don't quite know what they are called. But it was when the children start school. They get this big um, horn type thing. When they start kindergarten, I think, and it's filled with goodies. It'd be kind of neat if they did that here in America. But this was done by Cindy's uh, Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage. Beautiful, and then uh, on the back. So I thought this would be perfect to go right in here and be part of the Valentine's Day journal. Now this is the one that I meant. <laughs> 
This card goes with, if I can find it, okay. This card is the one that goes together with this one. So this was the inside, there was an inside strip to this card. And I thought I didn't want to lose that, so I just used it here. Then this is a pocket, a side tuck with a surprise because this is so cute. The two little otters kissing. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> and then some writing space on the back. All right. And then the last piece of coffee dyed paper here, as well as some more space to write down here. And then one more nice, um, beautiful large tag. Now this was a gift of friend mail from um, another junk journaler. And then this everlasting love was wood for one of those ephemera books that I got at my local area, um, flea market area. And then this is just a sticker and then some beautiful, um, this was white and I used the distress ink and you made it pink. And then just some distressed on the back. And then the best and I think the funniest part of this whole junk journal is my instant ancestors that I got. <laughs> well, look at that happy couple. Oh my goodness. Is that too funny or what? They, I don't know if you can see it so well, but they look so happy, right? <laughs> well, this was also a vintage card that I got and I put the little couple back there, distressed it a little. And on the side, I had this beautiful lace and um, I thought it worked really nice. And so that is the Valentine's Day junk journal. And it was actually my first journal, so I can't wait to do some more. And what I will also do is uh, later on in this video, I will do the uh, winner of the um, junk journal. So see you in a little while. Bye. Okay, friends, I'm back. Because we were on a live when I said this, everyone that typed in 400, I wrote on pieces of paper. And with all these people here, we have 28 names. So I'm borrowing my husband's phone for a couple seconds and we have a number generator. So I put in numbers one to 28 and no repeats. So we will start the number generator and see what it picks. Number eight. All right, so let's see who number eight was. All right, number eight right here is Belinda Carroll. All right, guys, congratulations, Belinda, with all the um, going back and forth with the offer ups with the vintage cards. You get some of them, anyways. <laughs> congratulations, Belinda. And let's see what we can do for the next 400 subscribers. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.